Hi, welcome to Love the Night Sky and today's video which is all about how to collimate a telescope. Okay, so the obvious place to start is to answer the question, what is telescope collimation? Well, it's something we do in a scope which has a mirror as its primary device for collecting light. So this is my telescope, this is a Skywatcher, it's a six inch Newtonian. It has a mirror at this end, those are the adjusting screws, and the light comes in at that end. And what happens over time is the telescope gets bashed around as it's moved and the mirror moves slightly out of alignment, not quite in the right place for collecting light, sending it to this end of the telescope to the secondary mirror, which then bounces it up to my eyepiece. So over time, what we need to do is adjust the primary mirror and the secondary mirrors so that they are perfectly in line with each other to give us an ideal amount of focus and let us see the most detail that we can, which is what I'm going to tackle next. Now the secret tool in my arsenal for doing collimation is a laser collimator and this is it. Very simply, it is a red laser. If I turn it on, you can see it just creates a red laser light that comes out of this end and hits the mirror and when the mirror reflects it back it hits a target in here which will show us whether the light is centred or not. The first step is to make sure that you can see the retaining screws for the primary mirror reflected in the secondary mirror which bounces the light up through your eyepiece holder. So if we have a look in here, get that aligned. And now you can see that it's struggling on where to focus but you can see that the retaining clips are at the midday position at four o'clock and at the eight o'clock position, those little black rectangles. So first step, check we are okay. Let's move on to step two, which needs the laser collimator. That is the laser collimator. It has a laser light that comes out of that end and the telescope will reflect it back and hit that target that you can see. And in a second, I'll show you how to use it. But basically, when the laser light is in the middle of that target, you know that your primary and secondary mirrors are perfectly aligned. And the only other tool we need is a hex key for adjusting the secondary mirror. And once you have those in place, you've got everything you need to collimate your telescope, which is what we will do now. For step one, we're gonna make sure that we've got broad alignment of the secondary mirror with the primary mirror. So as I said earlier, the secondary mirror, the primary mirror, sorry, is here. This is the back piece of glass. And these are, these are the adjusting screws and these are the locking screws. And we'll come back to those in a second. Now at the other end of the telescope, we have the secondary mirror, which we can see here, that's the back of it. Those are the adjusting screws that you can see. But this here, my fingers are touching now, that is the secondary mirror itself. And that needs to be in line with the primary, which we can see at the far end there. Okay, so I've put the adapter collar in place because I've got a two inch attachment and this converts it to one and a quarter inch. And what I need to do now is put the laser collimator in there and hold it in place. So here it is, slots in there. One of the key things to keep in mind when you put the collimator in is that the target needs to face the primary mirror. So I'm focused on the adjuster screws on the primary at the moment. And if I move the focus in, 
you can see that the target is facing towards me right now. The next thing to do then is switch on the laser collimator. Now it has varying degrees of brightness. One is the faintest and you can just see the laser light appear on the target now. And then we turn it up because we're doing this in daylight. Don't want to go too crazy, so that's obviously too bright for the camera. So let's go with three. That seems like a good setting for us. And you can see already that the telescope isn't collimated because the light from the laser is not quite in the centre target. And we will come back to that in a second, but the first action we need to take is to move the secondary mirror so that the laser hits the primary mirror in exactly its centre. What I'm focused on here is the primary mirror and you can see that little black circle which marks the centre of the mirror. And when the laser comes on we want that laser beam to hit in the centre of the circle. So if I just turn it on and make it a bit brighter, now it's a little bit hard to pick up because of the various reflections going on. But actually the main laser light itself is just hitting the four o'clock position on the black ring. So it's not too far out of alignment. What I'm focused on here is the secondary mirror. This is the housing for it. So I've got a hex key here and there are three adjusting nuts in there. One, two, three. And this is a tightening screw in the middle. So what you can do is loosen that screw if you need to. You probably, as close as I am to focused, will get away without doing that. I need to adjust those screws so that it moves the laser into the centre of the circle, which you just see back there. What you can see as I make adjustments to the secondary mirror is that the laser is moved quite significantly while I'm doing the adjusting. So it helps to make a small adjustment, then come out and see where you were at, and then go back in and make another adjustment and do it step by step like that until it's in a position you are happy with. Right, after a bit of trial and error, I've managed to get the laser centered within the black circle marking the exact center of the mirror. The final stage now is to adjust the primary mirror so that I can see the laser shining in the collimator target sticking out of the eyepiece. In the final step, what I need to do is adjust the primary mirror so that I can get that laser beam slap bang in the black circle in the middle of that target. So to do that, we'll go to the back end. And here, we'll use these adjusting screws to move the primary mirror fractions to move the laser into the right place. What I'm going to do is start by unlocking the mirror, which is these screws here. So I just loosen them slightly, which means I'll be able to change the adjuster screws. Or just turn this one slightly and see which way we go. Okay, so that's further away. Now it's hard for the camera to pick up both ends of the telescope at once, but hopefully you can see that by turning that that way, I'm moving the laser the wrong way. So we'll come back with that one, which is more central. And now I'll move to this one. Now that one, that direction, so it's clockwise, is moving it the wrong way. If I turn it anti-clockwise, counterclockwise, it's pretty much where I need it to be in one axis. And there the laser has disappeared. So I now know that my primary mirror is aligned with the secondary. And I'll just tighten up those locking screws, Ooh, not too much, to hold the mirror in place. One final check back in the front end of the telescope shows that my laser is still in the middle of the black ring. So I now know that this telescope is perfectly collimated 
and will hopefully remain that way for the next few outings. So thanks to this handy little tool, this laser collimator, I know that my telescope is now in good collimation and will provide me the best images that it can. Although, as you may have noticed, the mirror could do with a clean. So if you'd like your own one of these, then you can click my affiliate link, which is in the description below this video. And if all that was a bit fast and you prefer to read about how to do something, then click the link in the description below to see the article on my website, which gives you step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to collimate your own telescope. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and I look forward to seeing you next time. Clear skies.